EA Sports FIFA 20 sponsors Saturday Social. Fikayo, going to be quizzing you on your Chelsea teammates' FIFA 20 stats. In front of us, we have your upgraded winter card. Thoughts? I'm happy with it, actually. Yeah. Um, you know, I know um, the last one was silver, wasn't it? It was. Do you know what it was, your overall rating? Was it 72? Yes, it was. 72, yeah. So plus five. Yeah, right. not bad. So, yeah, I'm happy with it. Yeah, any, any that you're, you're unhappy with or that you want to improve on? Mm, maybe my shooting. I mean, shooting. had a nice goal this season, so I thought they'd... Like, yeah? Yeah, Great so I thought goal. they'd... That bump it up a little bit, but... <laughs> was that in your mind when you thought scored that you thought yeah, you were yeah, upgrade Yeah, now. I was thinking, I don't know what it was before, but I don't think they would have put up that much. But yeah, other than that, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Right, let's get into it. Who do you think is the highest rated player at Chelsea, according to FIFA 20? N'Golo? It is. Kante. Yeah, 89. Uh, also got 97 stamina, which probably won't surprise many people. Um, every Chelsea player I've spoken to about N'Golo Conte is just full of praise with him, not just what he does on the pitch, but what he's like off the pitch. We talked about your debut season just now. How much of a help has he been for you coming to the club? Yeah, I mean, because he's quite quiet, you know, he doesn't, he's not really like a talker, but, um, you know, on the pitch, you know, he just kind of makes your job easier because, uh, as obviously as a defender, you know, he wins the ball back so often for the team and, uh, you know, he's good on the ball going forward as well. So, you know, having someone like that in your team that's, you know, up and down, covering, it, covering every bit of grass, you know, it just makes it that much easier for everyone, not just me. Must be a dream as a defender, though, to have him play. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you ever think that? Oh, he'll, 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 cover, he'll cover the ground? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know that, you know, if you if you get pulled out of position or if you've got to, you know, go on the wing to, to cover someone, you know, he's going to be there and he's probably yeah. going to sweep up. So, yeah, very good to have in the team. OK. Right, there are two players in the Chelsea squad who have five-star weak foot. Who do you think they are? Uh, Pedro? Yes. Pedro. Five-star weak foot. Mason? No. Christian Pulisic? No. No. Pedro and Ross Barkley. Oh, yeah, Ross, I should have yeah, thought that. Now that you've said that, you think yeah. that makes sense. Uh, you answered Pedro very quickly, so for you, is he the most complete with both feet? Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. You know, sometimes the ball just come in, we do shooting drills and stuff, and uh, the ball's coming at him so fast, and he just hits it first time, first time left foot. It's just like, wow, he just goes top bins. Yeah, he's, with both feet, he's, uh, he's unbelievable, dribbling both feet, shooting, everything. He's, uh, he's pretty good. Uh, Ross, yeah, I should have probably thought of Ross, because um, he's got good shooting off both feet and stuff, so... Uh, yeah, I can't really disagree. As soon as I said it, you went, oh, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. forgot about him. But he... Yeah, I knew there was someone I was forgetting, but I just couldn't <laughs> think about him. But yeah, okay. Russ. Another technical player, of course, Chelsea signed recently, Hakim Ziyech. He played very well against you, but I remember your little course uh, <laughs> in the corner. Are you going to be mentioning that to me? Yeah, really? I wasn't going to mention it. But, uh... <laughs> Yeah, it just kind of happened. Yeah, I wasn't thinking, oh, I'm going to do a quick turn, but no, but um, <laughs> then when he signed, you know, loads of people were sending me videos of it and Will stuff. It? So, yeah, yeah, but um, no, hopefully, uh, you know, he's going to be doing that to other people next season. Yeah, well said. OK, let's talk about pace. Uh, who do you think is the fastest on the team? <laughs> oh, a few contenders at Chelsea. Personally? Yeah, yeah, what do you think? So, quickest player at Chelsea, who are you saying? For me, I would say I'm up there with Tony Rudiger, because you've seen the stats mm. from match days, and me and him are at the top. I think Callum's come in lately with um, with a with a good score, but um, yeah, he's up there. Yeah, I'd say um, according to FIFA, I probably said he'd probably pick someone like probably Callum, no, or William. No. So d d before we get into what FIFA think, for you, if everyone had a race at Chelsea, you say you're up there, you keep you keep the stats. Who do you think, according to the, the, the stats you take, is the quickest player? Everyone had a race at Chelsea, who wins? You can say yourself. I, I, I would I would honestly back myself, seriously. Yeah? yeah, I would. You know, I know FIFA don't really give like defenders that high speed rating. Mm. So, uh, you know, obviously I've got 80, so I'm happy with that. But um, in my heart, I know. In your I'm heart, up you there. know. I know, I know. You know in your heart, you're the And they know, they know. Well, um, FIFA, they, they don't know because they've gone with Christian Pulisic. Yeah. 90 pace. 90? Yeah. Yeah, I think Christian... So, should that be close? I mean, I think if he's 90, I've got to be bumped up a little yeah. bit. I've got to be bumped up a little bit. But um, yeah, Christian, like the first 10, 15 yards, mm. like he's really, really quick. And I think that on the pitch, you know, that's 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 those are the, the, the yards that really matter. So yeah, um, yeah I'd say Christian or Callum. How, what course yeah. Callum? Callum Hudson Odoi, 85. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. You see that? Yeah, I, could, I should be bumped. I want to see this race. I want to see you sort this yeah. race out. <laughs> uh, speaking pace as well, uh, other side of it. Slowest player at the club. <laughs> <laughs> well, why have you got your head in your head? Jorginho, isn't it? It's not Jorginho. <laughs> He's second. Is it Jorginho for you then? No, because when you said that, um, <laughs> I remember um, early on in the season there was a video going around of like a referee running past him, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, he, and he was showing me and laughing about it. So um, that's why I thought him the slowest. Uh, oh, Oli. Olivier Giroud, Giroud yes, yeah. forty-six pace. 
Yeah, he's not He's not actually that slow. Is he not? I think he just looks slow because, uh, you know, maybe because he's taller, but, you know, he's quite a powerful runner. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's I not think... really his game, is it, to be yeah, fair? Yeah, his yeah. game is bringing other people yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah, but, um, you know, yeah, I mean, he's not the quickest, but you know, I wouldn't say he's, you know, as slow as, what is it, what is his rate, 47? 46, no, 46. not even 47. Yeah, I wouldn't say he's as slow as that, but... So it, this race that you're sorting out with all the Chelsea squad, coming last in that, Jorginho, Olivier Giroud, they've got that about right. They, they'd be, yeah. as great as they are with the ball, they'd be struggling in a Yeah, they've got the, the yards up there. They're <laughs> thinking they're two steps ahead. I like the way you said that. <laughs> uh, right, OK, I like this question. Uh, Frank, of course, has placed a lot of trust in the academy graduates this season, but in the current squad, who is the highest rated academy graduate on FIFA 20? Ruben. No. He's up there, but it's not Ruben. Callum. No. Tammy. No. Academy graduate? Yeah. Mason? No. It's not Reese, is it? No. I think I've gone for everyone, apart from myself. It's a slight trick question. It's Andreas Christensen. Because you know, I was thinking. The academy, didn't I was thinking about him. Bromby that came to Chelsea's academy. I was thinking about him. 80. Yeah, I was thinking about choosing him, but I thought, would they. Would you count that as a right, kind of because you're thinking what FIFA do? Yeah, so yeah. You, you said Ruben straight away. Big player for Chelsea, isn't he? Yeah, obviously he's been in the first team for for a while. Obviously this season he's been unlucky because he had that injury from last season. But you know everyone knows how how good he is when um, when he's playing. And uh, yeah, we can't wait to have him back in the in the squad. You spoke to um, you mentioned sorry some of the young players there. It's amazing how many young players have had such game time under Frank Lampard yourself, Mason Mount, Tammy Abraham, Loftus Cheek, Callum Hudson Odoi, Rhys James. There's so many exciting young players. How good is it for you to see how much youth has been given a chance under Frank Lampard this season? Yeah, obviously it's really positive for us um, that we're getting a chance. Um, I think for ages people were, people knew how good our academy was, um, you know, winning the youth cups and you for youth leagues and stuff and um, <clears throat> I think it was just us getting that chance and uh, Obviously, the gaff has come in this season, and, and and he's given us all like extended periods in the in the squad to kind of you know show how good we are and show that um, we can play for Chelsea. And um, yeah, it's been a good season for all of us. And obviously, we're all um, helping each other out, and we've got the support of the manager and the other players in the dressing room who are also helping us out. So I think that at the moment we've got a good mix. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Best free kick taker at Chelsea, according to FIFA 20. Who do you think it is? It should be Marcos Alonso, I'd say. It is Marcus Alonso, yeah. If, if, obviously, a few contenders there, Mason Mount, William, but Marcus Alonso, 90th minute, free kick to Chelsea to win the game. Is he who you're backing? Yeah, I'd back him. You know, he's, his left foot is... It just Everything just kind of flows when he takes it. Um, and then it just kind of he gets the whip, the dip, everything on it. So, um, yeah, I'd say last minute free kick, I'd, I'd trust him. You back him. OK. Uh, next up, who do you think has the highest passing attribute in the team? Jorginho. Yeah, it is. 84. That's a massive part of his game, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. You know, as I said, you know, he's, you know, might not be the quickest, but, you know, he's always got a picture in his head and he's thinking, you know, two steps ahead of, you know, when the ball's actually come to him. So, you know, he's able to make the pass and, you know, we play through him and, uh, you know, he's able to get us from defence to midfield or defence to attack or, you know, just help us keep the ball. So, yeah, he's a really big, big part of the team. OK, last few. Um, who do you think is the weakest player in the Chelsea squad? <laughs> Mason. No. <sighs> Why did you want it to be Mason? No, I was <laughs> I, like I feel bad because it wasn't him. Right, okay. Because I was hoping I'd say it and it would he's, be him. He's a good mate, yours, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Christian? No. Can't be Jorginho again. No. Do you think it is? You said Mason first, and you think it? it should yeah, because be Mason's Mason? kind of like the, you know, is the, the number ten. So you know, yeah. they normally give like the the ones that are good on the ball. You know, yeah. Bit of a weaker rating, but um, and because he's not not the tallest, but he's no. not not the smallest. According uh, to FIFA. Oh, Billy Gilmore. Yes, it is. Billy yeah. Gilmore. Yeah, you Billy said Gilmore. young on the, you said uh, on the ball a lot. Young player is yeah, uh, yeah. Billy Gilmore, 31 strength. Let's turn it into a positive though, because recently a fantastic performance we saw against Liverpool. Uh, we mentioned the younger players earlier. I haven't mentioned Billy Gilmore. How yeah. exciting a prospect is he? Do you think? Yeah, I mean, obviously uh, after the winter break, he came into our change room and uh, you know he'd been with us a few times and you know you could see the quality he had on the ball. Um, you know, really, as I said, really intelligent player, and you know he's not the biggest, but you know he's, he puts himself about a lot in training. And obviously, you saw it against Liverpool. You know, he's not afraid to to get on the ball. He's not afraid to drive the team. And uh, obviously, as a young player, 18 years old, you know that's to have that at such a young age is uh, you know it's really really impressive. Yeah, exciting talent, but strength-wise, yeah, they probably got that right as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get in the gym <laughs> with me. <laughs> trying to get him in the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he listening to you? Is he going to go? Yeah, yeah. He's, I was down there, and I told him just now. I just told him, yeah, come down with me and. And pump some weights. <laughs> Brilliant. So next season we're going to see an old yeah, Billy Gilmore. I'm not sure he's going to be like Hulk, but you know, he's, <laughs> he's going to get there. Love it, Last question. Who do you think has the highest strength in the Chelsea team? Ooh, strength. Kurt Zuma. Yes. 90, 92. He's just a beast. Like, Is he? Yeah, when he gets his... Like, he could be in the corner and he just like puts his leg there and 
it's, it's not possible to get the ball. He's <laughs> he's just massive and obviously he's tall, wide, you know, everything is yeah, he's, he's beast. And does he work on that? You mentioned the gym earlier, Billy Gilmore's mm. doing the weights as we speak, possibly. Is, no, is Kurt I reckon Zuma if, someone that works on that or is he just naturally? I reckon if he was in the gym he'd he wouldn't be able to move because he, really? yeah, he just like put on so much muscle. Cause he just naturally just, just massive. I think there's a lot of players like actually in the team that are, you know they're just naturally quite, yeah. quite physically built. So, um, but yeah, I'd say, cut, cut. There we go. For Kaya, top man. Thank there we you. go. Enjoyed that. You happy with your cards? We just up the shooting. Yeah. Uh, pull on from the Wolves guy. We'll get the top. And then maybe up, up the pace a little. Up bit. the pace a bit more as well. We'll bring yeah. Callum's and okay. push us down. <laughs> we'll bring Callum's <laughs> down. There we go. Uh, that was of course FIFA versus for Kaya Tomori. Big thanks to EA Sports FIFA 20.